Hello, I'm Average Joe. I'm a normal, uh, an average uh, Chinese living in the bottom of the society in China. I will using my lens to show you the real China, what's happened in China, and give you the uh, ide general idea of the how the China look like. Okay, so today I will take you to uh, an ancient water town, which is located in the outskirts of Shanghai. This uh, is a very, very ancient water town, which is, is established hundreds of years ago. Now this is a, a tourist attraction for the foreigners and for the uh, local residents to have a relaxing during their leisure time. Okay, now I will take you have a look. Yeah, this uh, ancient water town's name is Fengjing Ancient Water Town. It is a typical water town being one of the eight new views of Shanghai. It is the best <coughs> preserved and the largest ancient water town in Shanghai. Network of water way, uh, waterway covers the whole ancient town. Uh, and uh, there are 52 bridges with the uh, oldest one, Zhihe Bridge, having a history of more than 700 years. This town is uh, being promoted as one of Shanghai's new must-see uh, tourist attractions. There is a canal there and you enjoy a boat trip on it. So uh, there, this area on the outskirts of Shanghai is about six hundred, uh, 60 kilometers or 40 miles southwest of the downtown area of Shanghai. It was once known as a water town because several canals cut through and uh, around it. It was primary, uh, primarily an agriculture area, but in modern times it become, uh, became known for its uh, peasant art as Chinese peasant farmers and, and artists paint uh, pictures and sell them. There are some temples and old residence scatters scattered around. It has become a tourist site that is popular with some tourists who want to go on a relaxing day outing. Besides watching the farmers and the painters, the attraction are the canal, the restaurant and the shops. It is now a special tourist area. The area isn't big and it isn't as developed as the more reticent tourist old town sites in Shanghai. This, quaint, this quaintness is what many tourists think is one of the better attractions of the place. Fengjing Water Town is a small area to wander around which is about 500 acres and the other main attractions include the artwork and the food. You can see cartoons by Ding Tong and paintings by Chen Shifa who are very famous artists in China. There are also Jingshan peasant paintings, which you can see nearby in the Jingshan area, a few kilometers away. And I will give you the Google Map link down below in this uh, video, so you can uh, click that uh, Google Map link to see where this old town is located at. So uh, there are the, uh, the area caters to a lot of uh, tourists, so you can try different food or drinks. The area's specialties are yellow wine, fengjing pork, and the zhuangyuan cake. The canal itself is an attraction too. At night, many hundreds of red lanterns hang on the buildings on both sides of the canal and glow in the dark. The lights and the whitewashed walls reflect off the dark waters. These make uh, for a pretty picture and you may enjoy a boat ride on the lake. The Fengjing ancient water town has been settled for hundreds of years because of its position at the southwest of Shanghai between a lake and a swamp area and the coast. It was considered the southwest gateway to the city. In the early Qing dynasty, which, will be, uh, which may be uh, 200 years ago, Fengjing ancient water town was famous for cloth production. In the late Qing dynasty, Fengjing produced bran. In modern times, painting became popular among farmers, and some of them have won national competition. Their, art, their artwork is available for sale in this uh, town. 
So uh, I th uh, this water town is very traditional town, which is uh, I mean uh, which is make this have an attraction to both the local residents and the foreigners. So during my trip to this uh, water town, I see uh, many foreign visitors uh, from uh, from the uh, overseas. So. Um, they feel very happy and very interesting about uh, this uh, water town because it's very Chinese, very traditional and uh, many some small boat here and you can see those are calligraphy calligraphy are scal scal scalvation uh, on the wall those uh, uh, calligraphies uh, you can uh, dating back to uh, 200 years ago which was made by the ancestors who are making the calligraphy, which is a very traditional uh, handwriting of the calligraphy. Okay, so uh, just to take just to take a walk and uh, get and uh, take my and follow me, follow my steps and follow my uh, guide, my guide, my guidance to uh, have a look and walk around this uh, water town to give you the real. Uh, feeling how this uh, water town and how the uh, average Chinese life is and how the uh, those Chinese who are living in the bottom of the society just a normal guy daily life in the domestic I mean in the in the Chinese society in the Chinese uh, uh, town just a small town okay so um, just uh, let's go to have a look to turn uh, turn around this uh, this is water town okay see you next time uh, and uh, and please uh, just uh, subscribe the channel to avoid missing future update and I will give you the uh, real China real uh, the, the videos about uh, the real China look like okay see you next time bye bye